hello hello uh, here we are live on the brand new account first of all thank you so much for all of you which joined it and joined me in this new project that i had and um, so today we are going to be uh, i'm going to be interviewing a spanish photographer jose luis cano and we are going to talk about photography and of course more in depth into black and white photography so um, if during the interview you feel like you have any questions um, there is a little question tag and feel free to just write your question there and then at the end of the interview we'll gladly answer all the questions you may have so let me find um, Jose <laughs> Let's let's join him. Let's invite. And hi, <laughs> welcome. How are you? Yeah, very good. And you, Leticia? Nice to see you. I'm good. Where are you at the moment? At home, as you see. Where is home? <laughs> home is, is, is everywhere. <laughs> In Murcia. Where's that thing, right? <laughs> so um, I'm glad to have you today um, on this Instagram account, which is dedicated to black and white photography. And um, so we're going to talk about photography, obviously. So let's start. Um, let us know a bit about you, how you started photography. And mm -hmm. yes. Hi, everybody. Uh, yeah, I started like uh, 20 years ago, studying uh, photography. I started with, uh, with a Polaroid camera. Yeah, uh, uh, that's the, my first uh, camera I got. I, I got into, into the music. I love music so much. And cinema. I think cinema brings the photography. The uh, cinema is photography movement. So I started with my Polaroid, taking snaps, and the magic of having the picture in your hand at the moment. It was uh, something amazing. Even today that we have digital photography, and you have instant picture on your screen, but at that time, having in your hand printed in paper was something unique. That's the way I started, and I think that's the way I fall in love with photography. So, and then, I started here uh, in, uh, with the uh, development with black and white, doing with chemicals. And when we are talking about it, like, go, but it was the beginning of the digital photography. The beginning uh, cameras for the public were, were this. So it's very, very, very beginning of digital. So uh, another photography was strong at the time. And I started with the roles with the chemicals, developing my own uh, photography in the lab, in the dark room. Mm -hmm. Something, something very, very amazing. To go. I still like when sometimes a photographer they take Polaroids, um, extra Polaroids during shoots. It's always like, you know, brings like a nostalgia into the. Yeah. <laughs> You get a little Polaroid at the end, and it's like, yeah, and this is what I said you have it in your hands, yes, immediately. Um, it's like, yeah, right there, something you can really touch, <laughs> right? Right, yeah. yeah, like Polaroids, they're cool. So, um, tell me, what does photography mean to you? Wow, that's a very good question. Uh, I'm right now, I could say everything. It gave me an amazing way to meet people, to work with amazing people, like you, for example, uh, to travel, uh, a way to get money and everything. So, so beautiful. And, you know, we photographers, we control time. In the way we shoot something, we frozen. You got frozen for the rest of life, you know? It's been, very, very unique thing. We are like times, time travelers. Yeah, you free the moment. Yes, 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 yes. And it's great 
but it's almost impossible to repeat the same uh, photograph. You, know? you can do a picture with a model and try to do the, with the same photographer, the same model, same light, and catch that magic moment. Uh, wow. I have that sometimes people ask me to reproduce a photo or reproduce a pose, and I'm like, <laughs> it happened once, it, that's it, yeah. you know? It's just a moment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Um, so do you like black and white photography? I absolutely love it. As I said, when I started uh, at the beginning of digital, I started with black and white and development uh, black and white, and it was something unique because in, you see the real life in color, as we see uh, through eyes, you see reality in color. You don't see black and white. So black and white immediately like a of real life. So it's more it's perfect for art. That's right. Things black and white are all of because you know reminds me maybe to be all dynama stuff on but to me is the perfect way, the perfect format to catch art. Mm -hmm. Better than color because it's an interpretation of or reality. That's right. So if you would say color vs black and white, would you I think Do you have a preference or it just depends of the photo, it depends of the shoot, it depends of the mood, of the location. Yeah. Um, I I love all. I love oral photography. I love it. But maybe because it's more artistic it's, um, uh, or the real world is different. It's very, right. very, very And to me, it's like, you can see the shadows, the shadows of, of reality better. Mm -hmm. All else, everything is more bright. In black and white, I love contrast black and white. I, I shoot a lot with high contrast mm -hmm. and I love the shadows and you know, you can appreciate stuff in color is more difficult to find. So, um, so do you always edit your photos in two ways? Like I have sometimes some photographers, they only send me photos in one version. And some they send me in both. So what do you, how do you proceed with your photos? Do you always do both versions or? It's just, it depends on the photo. You look at it and then decide or how it, how it works. Normally I decided the shooting of, before the shooting the idea I have in my mind. Because sometimes when you pick, when we choose the clothes, for example, the clothes we're going to use, the brain, it, it fits on the light, brown, how mm -hmm. it fits in color on, on black and white. I, much you know before shooting and anyway computer it's nice to see both sometimes mm -hmm. okay but uh as i work i prefer to, to have it on my mind okay so you you do the whole process prior to yes like pri prior to shooting even so it's really something which is thought through it's not like oh let's see what we get after and i will and I will edit it somehow. It's it's a real mm -hmm. yeah because uh, for high contrast, for example, if you're shooting with you got uh, high shadows and black very very good, but in color mm -hmm. right you know, the lights on the high, the middle of the face uh, in like shadow mm -hmm. be, you have that's the reason I think it's better to prepare that or shooting. Um, so you're shooting nude art also. I know you're shooting fashion a lot, um, but you do shoot nude art too. And um, what made you start to shoot nude art? I love, uh, I started people. I think I began with portraits. So mm -hmm. uh, I to, to shoot people 
like shooting landscapes or you know or objects or whatever. I prefer to shoot people. And to me, the story is the art piece I've ever done. It's the most beautiful thing in the world. So we are working with the best you can for mm -hmm. creating art stuff. The female body is absolutely amazing. So I think my my passion. I I when I started uh, shooting. I I prefer to do people to do portraits, fashion. I sometimes I do advertising. I have objects, but I prefer to do products. Uh, but I prefer to shoot people. Right. But you can shoot close to people, and you can shoot nude people. <laughs> right. Yeah, but at, at the end, it's natural. We the the word name. Very, 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 very natural. It's very sad that social media has some problems with nudity. Uh, you know, you yeah. just suffer that a lot. Yes, it's sad. Yeah. It makes I, our life complicated. Yes. <laughs> makes sense. Because it's supernatural. It's supernatural. Um, so now I would like you to explain to our followers what was your role. Um, for the book for timeless so what did you what was your role in the book <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I work a lot with you about choosing uh the picture and the, uh, the order i'm giving the book i think i'm out looking at you know looking at the book a lot about the rhythm when yeah. you see the book about you notice how strong work softer and the rhythm so important like music and cinema to the piece of art is super super important to people when watch it don't get bored don't get don't get you no know, sleepy on the, the density of the stuff to have it to control the rhythm so that's what i make all in the book is I can say it's this project I have been involved. I'm so, so proud of it. Thank you for that. Well, I have to say thank you because um, well, at the beginning when I chose all the photos I wanted to use in the book, I got quite overwhelmed, I have to say, when I had to think about in which order they had to go, right? <laughs> and uh, I'm, very, I'm very honored and... and um, yeah, that you agreed to uh, help me with this task. And I have learned in the process about photography too, like which grays and blacks and whites should be together or not. And it was a great um, learning experience to, to, to get this book put together and um, yeah, to get knowledge from you. <laughs> to... It was amazing <laughs> because I remember when we, there I mean, is so so many pictures we are talking about 300 or oh, it's crazy it's 170 crazy. yes yeah, so so many pictures that when i was like oh my god <laughs> put that in order you remember, uh, the new uh new section maybe the <laughs> one i think wow yeah the new the new art section is like huge yes, <laughs> yes. like a play like a um, super huge <laughs> yes it was quite a task yeah. so we had all the photos on the floor and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. watching the photos one after another checking the flow and i also was checking the flow of the poses um which poses had to be next to each other or not um, so it was quite um yeah it was quite a task <laughs> I want to say everybody leticia and me I, I I didn't do it alone. We did it together. Yes. So I think it's something is very beautiful uh, together. And sometimes you bring very very good ideas, but picture to put on the left or not. Yes, there were a little bit of photographic rules which had to be <laughs> kept, All right? Um, so you have a lot of experience in uh, in publishing, as you had your own magazine. And um, yeah. how do you see 
how do you see timeless how do you see such a such a you know wow. a book on the i don't know in the in the market of photography in the fields of art in yeah because you have more experience you had your own magazine already so i'm just curious to know how you see that yeah i work with a fashion magazine i have my own art magazine as a and I, you know i love her i love photography so much i have so, so many pieces of uh, art timeless is probably one of the best book i have seen in my own in my entire life it's real it's amazing so it's a bomb in for the market i think it's having the one of the biggest art ever done in photography terms yeah something amazing thank you you can be very very proud thank you it's really really heavy <laughs> that's what i can say yeah it's a weapon guys it's really heavy <laughs> Um, yes let me see if anybody anyone has any questions they would like to ask me or ask jose um i see one here what is the most important outcome of your photography this is question for you the most important outcome mm -hmm. Well, that's a good I think uh, to achieve, I'm very perfectionist when shooting. That that could be a when you know to be to feel good. Yourself. I think you have the same. Yes. The same motto as me. Working very, we are very. Perfect. So uh, I think to achieve that, to achieve the perfection something I have in my mind and put it on the brain perfectly. That's my, I, I will say that about my work, about shooting, to achieve that. To achieve perfection? Do you yeah. think it's possible? There, is there perfection? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it's, it's super, super, super hard, but it's, it's yeah. Hmm. I think it's possible. Yeah. Okay. So if anybody has any other questions, oh, here we go. Why black and white instead of color? Um, well, I'm gonna answer that one because I chose the concept of the black and white. And um, well, I chose it because um, it's timeless, like the title of the book says, and I wanted to I wanted to print. That's why this book is not available in PDF version or in download. Um, I got really mad with what happens on social media and with content being deleted and uh, gone. And I felt very frustrated with the fact that's, that pretty much all the photos we are taken are only consumed in a digital way. Um, so I wanted something printed. And I thought to print something in black and white it's something which lasts forever, you know? So um, that's why that's, that book at least <laughs> is in black and white. And, um, and yeah, and like uh, Jose said, like art is best shown in black and white. And um, I consider my photos to be in that range, in that niche. So I guess they look good in black and white. <laughs> I hope I answered the question. Hello, everybody. And if you have any other questions, feel free to write them. And... The title fits perfectly for hmm? the book. Timeless. It's, the title is perfect for the book. It perfect fits the soul of the book. Hmm. The, your concept behind the book, I think, is, is yeah, I wanted this. I want something that can be passed from generation to generation, you know, and that you open it in, I don't know, 50 years and it doesn't feel like it was 50 years ago, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good art is, it keeps forever. Yes. I still love to listen to the Beatles. 
It's classic, right? Classic, no, classic. It sounds great. <laughs> I think, yeah, time, make timeless stuff, yeah. One more time, if anybody has any question, we're going to take them now. Okay. And if not, I would like you, Jose, to tell us um, where we can find you on, the, on social media or on your website or your... I think the best way is so I, when I put my more stuff, joseluiscano.com. That's mm -hmm. the way. And of course, on Instagram, Jose that's the best way to reach me. Okay. On the web, yeah. Perfect. And then, um, wait, we have a question. <laughs> cool. Do you listen to music during the shoot? Um, yeah, I do. I mean, sometimes in outdoor, it's kind of difficult, but in studio, Yes, we definitely put music on and accordingly to what we should, um, we put the music. So if I shoot ballet, I like to have ballet music. And if I shoot something more sensual, then it's good to have that music for that, <laughs> for that mood too. And yes, music is extremely important for shooting. It's really like, it helps to get the emotions out. And of course, when you use emotions, then you can see them through the photos. So and I said, yeah, I think that music is good. Music is like super important. You can see when the, when there is proper music to a proper concept, the photos are different. Yeah, I yeah. Yeah, um, I love to use proper music for um, the shoot. Uh, that's a question for you, Jose. Is it hard to light Leticia's skin for black and white? It's very easy. It's because the, I say to you of times, her colors are so beautiful. Not difficult at all. It's very, very, it works out for black and white. It works very beautiful. The, the, the tone, the color, very, very. It looks both, both in color and too. We shoot in color too. Mm -hmm. And skin yeah, normally very good, and you have a really, really great stuff too. I have to say, it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, great. Anyone else? Any other last question? We are here for you, and um, if not, I'm just going to say if you're interested to get your copy. Um, the link is in the bio uh, of, uh, of the Instagram account and you can have it signed, uh, that's possible. And yeah, it's been shipped all over the world already. Shipped one to India yesterday. <laughs> oh, it really? <laughs> Went to India, we had Russia and Peru, Australia. Uh, so yeah, it's all over the world right now. It's already... That's amazing to have copies all over the world. Wow. wow. They are already 88 copies shipped. Wow. Yes. You are near 100. Yeah. Wow. Pretty near. Pretty cool. soon. So if you would yeah. like to get yours, uh, the link is in the bio. And uh, feel free to message me if you have any questions. And uh, Yeah, I think some guys. In a COVID, baby. Right for them. We have a question, which is for me. It's what inspires you to choose the props you pose with? Uh, I have to say, um, sometimes it's just like whatever is in the studio. <laughs> it's like, oh, that chair is cool. I like that chair. Or oh, that sofa is cool. Um, you know, sometimes when you're on locations like castles or... Um, houses, apartments, um, the furniture, some, some they inspire me, some they don't inspire me at all. So um, that's how it goes. It goes with inspiration and shapes. Sometimes you get really cool sofas which have cool shapes to pose on, um, texture also, and yeah, 
It's just like when I see one which feels like right, I'm like, oh, then, you know, then I'm like, okay, I'm going to pose with it. Um, that's how it works. You have to feel it. If you don't feel it, don't do it. <laughs> really feel it is you know yeah if you feel it then it's good so i guess if you don't have any more questions then we can call it the day <laughs> and say thank you so much jose for joining this first live for this account and um, for all the followers and fans there are going to be more lives like that where i'm going to be interviewing photographers about photography so keep looking at the stories and uh, yeah we're going to do that often and i hope you liked it uh, have a great day have a great night morning wherever you are in the world <laughs> bye bye thank you so much for bye bye, bye, -bye. <laughs>